Hello everyone, this is Eva. Today I will show you a new friend of our mobile scanner family, handheld slam LiDAR. Handheld slam LiDAR is a new way of mobile measurement. This mobile scanner supports multiple scanning modes and it's suitable for a variety of application scenarios. It is compatible with backpack, UAV, vehicle and other mobile platforms. Equipped it with rotating laser probe and 120 meters range, this system is capable of collecting 320,000 points per second with a wide viewing angle. The accuracy of the relative points is 1 cm. It is extremely weatherable and can operate at minus 30 to 60 degrees centigrade. Slime LiDAR has a unique hybrid solution technology. It ensures higher accuracy and improves the speed of its own solution. It also greatly improves the scanning efficiency to match the post-processing software. Mobile apps replace traditional touch screens, browse point cloud data in real time through apps during operation. It supports a variety of browsing interaction and more human-computer interaction content. This system comes with a specially designed and developed software, integrating device application and point cloud processing. It is also compatible with third-party device point cloud processing. The software has eight basic functions, one-click point cloud dynoising, point cloud splicing, shadow rendering, coordinate transformation, automatic horizontal plan fitting, automatic point cloud data report generation, for word photography and point cloud encapsulation. We are here for scanning an underground garage. Let's look forward to it. Here we go. This 200 vehicle garage is about 6,000 square kilometers. The light is thin, it's not a very good condition, but we got a good chance to test how strong the scanner is. Okay, no more words. Let's begin the activity today. Now we are here at the starting position. Just to help you guys understand better, I made a mark here. Since the scanning range should be a closed loop, so we need to go back to this point and close the loop. And we need to collect several control points during the scanning. The number of control points depends on the scanning area. And the point's position usually set at a turning. Today, for this scratch, we set five control points. Okay, power it on. Press the second button, and then hold for eight seconds. Okay, let's move. We just walk as normal. There is one thing to note. When we turn it, do not turn at 90 degrees. It means we cannot turn in place. We need to go out of the turn arc. No more extra operation is required during the whole process. The point cloud data of the garage can be seen in real time on our mobile phone. Okay, we are now back to the starting point. To avoid missing the point cloud data, usually we take two or more steps. It's optional, but we always do like this. And now the scanning is done. We check the cloud points here. You can actually see the outline of this branch. To this step, we have to process the data on app. Date process. It will generate raw point cloud data for post-process software. It's gonna take some time, so let's go back to the office. Now, the raw data are here. Let's check it. The first file is control point. The second, third, fourth, fifth are the point cloud data with different formats. And then we need to drag it to Ghostland Studio and we can have a further operation. After point cloud loaded, one key to browse the point cloud in six visual directions and also view the inside objects from perspective echo. We can render the point cloud in elevation intensity. Select the color scale and adjust the saturation. Select X-ray function makes point clouds more realistic, stereoscopic, and immersive. Move and rotate function can adjust the attitude position of the point cloud. 
and use the grid as a horizontal reference to adjust the point cloud to the best browsing attitude through different axes. Point cloud cropping is a necessary step in processing point clouds. Draw a polyline to select a point cloud, then quickly and effectively remove redundant point cloud or keep only repaired parts. Next is Dynoisy. Click SOR filter one key to delete the discrete noise. Noise filtering can further optimize the point cloud structure. We can also detect the thickness of the point cloud and the distance of the target object. The measurement function can easy to implement. So, at this point, we have finished the post-processing. Through the final result, we can restore the 3D scene well, and the point cloud data can be used for BIM applications such as planning and management. And then, we need to go further and use third-party software to connect BIM applications. So that's all for today's sharing. If you want to know more about handheld SLAM LiDAR, be sure to subscribe our YouTube channel. See you all next time.